wonderful good morning to everyone i am your host avnas and you are watching the learning destinations and this is episode number 6 of my ongoing series hasi got console and today i am going to show you that how console is storing the data in terms of kb here the kb represent key value based database system so in addition to providing the service discovery integrated health check and securing network connections basically console takes help of this kb database system so you can use to dynamically configure applications coordinate services and manage leader election so now let's understand the today's agenda so let's let me quickly go through the today's agenda and there is already one of the definitions which i already explained which is given that what is the meaning of the kv and where it is used so let me quickly read it out and you can read simultaneously as well so in addition to providing service discovery integrated health checking and securing network traffic console includes a key value store which you can use to dynamically configure applications coordinate services manage leader elections or serve as a data backend for world so here the kv it means that the key value database engine the console is taking the kv secret engine and if you remember what is that the secret in there which i already explained inside my world series if you go in my uh, videos there is already one series called world and where you can easily understand what is the secret engine and how the kv works so kv is kind of one of the secret engine let's quickly understand that today's agenda and what we are going to learn from this tutorial so basically we are going to store some database and then we are query to database so it can revert back with the result and finally we will delete the data when i say that data this data is getting stored inside the kv okay and finally we will say that how we can modify the existing data so without any further delay let's start the practical session and it will be the quicker one so guys let's return back on the practical sessions and now i am going to show you a couple of examples so it will help you to easily understand how the console is storing the data in terms of kb so in order to achieve these things firstly you need to run your console server and that i am going to use i am going to run console server into that development mode and the command is pretty much simple console agent hyphen dev those who doesn't know this is the episode number 6 it means that i have already covered of console 1 to 5 and those who is who is visiting first time this tutorial can easily get back uh, all the lessons from episode number 1 to 5 okay so as of now on my screen you can see that the console server is successfully started now i am moving i am taking one of the duplicate sessions of the same machines so we can perform the rest of the commands on this terminal the first the first agenda was to add the data okay so now in order to add the data the command is pretty much simple the console and this is the secret engine kb okay and as of now let's suppose that the data which is not exist and right, uh, right now uh, we are trying to query it. so how does it responds so now i am going to run one of the command console kb get and let's suppose that the data is stored here config and devops okay so it is giving error you can see that right because we haven't yet stored any data inside this path okay so let's store some data inside this path and we can we give the value let's suppose that 5 and rather than here get since we are storing the data we need to use the put command so now you can see that we have successfully stored the data inside okay so let's check here and now if we query it should return the value 5 okay so there are too many argument we need to query now so you can see that it is giving the record it is giving the value 5 okay in the same way you can get the data in detail manner as well if you use here the detail command so you can see that here the value is given simultaneously it gives the flag key value lock index and many more informations okay now let's store one more data and let's query it so we are putting here the put since we are going to store the data and rather than devops we say here uh, let's suppose that development and we are keeping the value 25 okay now let's query to this one delete this 
and now we need to use the get command okay so we are getting the values now if you want to set the flag you can set the flag as well so let's suppose that uh, we have to store some data with the flags equal let's say we are giving 42 and development here uh, we are writing let's suppose that uh, testing okay and we are giving some value 40 now let's query delete this okay so we need to delete this one as well so you can see that it is reversing the data whatever the value we have set with the flags in order to check the detailed information we can use the detail command so you can see that it is reversing the flag value as well okay now you can see all the data in recursive format as well so when i when we use the recurs basically it gives the data in form of lexicograph so you can see that this is one of the data which we saw uh, stored earlier then after that this one then after that this one okay so it is so basically now you can see that whatever the data values we have stored it is displaying all through the recurs command okay now how we can delete it how we can clean up the record the command is pretty much simple rather than put or get now we will use the delete command so command will be console kb delete and let's suppose that we can take one of the devops value we are going to delete it right and if we query right now we cannot find it right because that data is already deleted and if we query to this path also it gives error okay so we cannot find it because we have already so far now we have seen that how we can add the data how we can query it how we can uh, see the data in the detail form how we can set the flag and finally how we can clean up it means how we can delete the data now i am going to show you that how you can modify the existing data so let's suppose that i'm going to put some data inside some different file so console kb the command is the same and uh, i am saying that uh, let's suppose that the radius dv value is uh, let's suppose that the radius dv username is avinash okay so data is written so right now if we query it is giving the value of this redis db user avinas okay now if you want to modify the same existing data how we can do that the command is pretty much simple just we need to put the uh, we need to set the again value the same value okay so we need to firstly mention here the put command and then this time we are going to put the value let's suppose that john okay now if we query it will revert the data with the john not the avinas that means that we have successfully modified the existing value so guys this is all about the kb key value based store uh, database stored inside the console and i hope your concept is pretty much clear now okay guys so that's all for this tutorial uh, you can give me your feedback that how was my tutorial and you can write me in the comment sections and if you have any questions just write me in the comment sections and i will answer it there so i will see you in my next tutorial where i am going to explore the console ui i am taking you on the tool of that how console user interface looking like and what are the options that we can explore inside that so don't miss my episode number 07 and if you like my videos then please do subscribe my channel and also share this particular tutorial with your friends and connect and i will see you in my next episode till the time bye bye thank you so much for watching this you have a very lovely day